And coming out of the Christmas season, you're going to be thinking, what's 2020 going to be holding for you? Well, Van and I, we're here to actually talk about what we thought were the favourite films of 2019, which will probably gear you up for the year ahead. Am I right? Absolutely. So, I mean, it's been an interesting uh, been an interesting year for film. Yeah. Um, I think it's a good year for film. I, I've given one five-star movie this year. Yeah, what um, was that again? I forget. Uh, well, we'll come on to that in oh, just okay, a sorry, second. Sorry, my but, bad, my yeah, bad. Yeah, I've picked out three movies that I absolutely love. Um, they're all very different, I, but all... Like, I'm not that discerning. I wound up with 22. <laughs> sorry. The, the, the rule in broadcast, fan is to keep things, <laughs> keep things tight, okay? So uh, we don't have time for 22 movies, so you're going to have to, you know, Okay. That I'm down. sorry, I Katie priced this. That's what I did. <laughs> right, okay. Um, do you want to do one and I'll do one and we'll back and yeah, forth? Let's okay, do that. okay, you okay. go first then. I'm going to kick off with something that came out in May. Um, it mm-hmm. fits on my mantelpiece of all those classic high school movies. Yeah. It made me laugh from start to finish. It's up there with 10 Things I Hate About You, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Super Bad. It's, of course, Booksmart. Oh, yes. You were wondering where nice. I was going with that. I think because I don't think of, because of the films you were comparing it to, I'm like, really, really? What, what, what movie was that like? Yeah, what I like could that have been? This for me is like a sleeper movie in yeah. some ways because I saw it and I raved about it, but I've had friends who have messaged me and gone, do you know what? I caught it on the plane. Yeah. I caught it just by a chance on Sky Cinema or something like that. And they were like, wow, this movie, not only is it really fun, it appeals to such a wide mm. audience as well. So whether or not you're in high school or well, however we like to call it here in the UK, or you're actually like our age and remember back to those years. It basically follows two girls, two best friends, who throughout their entire senior year have been the goody two-shoots. They've never put a foot wrong. They've worked really hard. They want to go to good colleges. And then they realise that they haven't had any fun. So the night, the yeah. night before graduation, they completely let loose. I think there's not much more to say about it. It's brilliant. You should check it out. It was out in May. I've watched it multiple times since then. A one of, I'm going to go with, and this is from the end of September, and uh, I, I, I wish this had had the same success as Booksmart, okay. but people, there's a caught on. And I have noticed that people are starting to wise to it, but it's, it's still early days. And that is Ready or Not, uh, starring Samara Weaving, uh, Adam Brody, uh, Henry Sherney, uh, yeah. Andy McDowell. And the general idea is it's uh, oh, an orphaned woman who yes. marries into a rich family yes. who has something of a creepy family secret that sees her getting hunted to the death on Very her fun. wedding night. So this is like a classic, like a board game almost that, that plays out and you're watching it, but you feel very much immersed in this movie mm. at the same time. So the idea is, is that on her wedding night, um, she has to join the family. They have this like deck of cards, which essentially you pick a card and you have to do a yeah. dare. Mm. And there's one card in the entire pack That's that basically hiding, fancy, hiding yeah. yeah, hiding a very nasty outcome. And of course, she ends up picking that card and we Sods see the whole, ho- yeah. Exactly, we wouldn't have a movie without no, it, would we? It's, it's so grisly and nasty, but also very funny with it. Yeah. It's very sadistically humorous. It's I'm so like, yeah. funny. Yeah, great film to pick. Um, moving on to my next pick of the year. Um, I'm moving up to, I think, July time. Okay. Um, it came out, and what a summer it was for movies, and then something came along and turned it completely on its head, and that movie is Midsummer. Now, uh, <laughs> I had to put a horror in there because... With the horror genre, my sentiment is is that to get mm. horror right, you have to do something different. And how different can it be than to put a horror movie out that is set completely in broad daylight? Now this, it unfolds over two hours, 20 minutes. It feel You feel every single minute of that. You feel the brilliance of Florence Pugh in this movie and also the great cast like Jack Trainers in this, also Will Poulter. It's a movie that... You you think, oh, I'm going to a nice little festival, you know, I'm watching them do this, and then it all goes horribly wrong in a way that's gruesome, it's gory, it's unnerving, it keeps gives you like spine tingles. I I had my my BBC team went to go and watch this um, after I reviewed it. They were supposed to go and see Toy Story uh, for some reason. They went down the wrong, they took the wrong door. Watch this, and they have not stopped talking about it. They are traumatized. (laughs) Uh, It's the new Wicker Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going to go also September again. Yeah, Uh, and, and this is a movie I didn't expect much from. Loved the second I saw it, and it was of course uh, Hustlers, starring uh, Jennifer <gasps> yes. Lo- Jennifer Lopez and Constance Wu as effectively it's effectively war dogs with strippers. Yes, so it's effectively strippers who decide during the financial uh, the collapse of the, re- the recession they're going to start drugging and robbing their clients. 
And I think we called it to say that um, Jennifer Lopez is probably going to pick up some awards for this, and she was nominated for a Golden Globe. Yeah, yeah. You know, her performance is one of the best that she's done in many, many years. And this is a smart... It feels like the big short, in a way. It's really smart. Yeah. It's really fast-paced. It's fun to watch. It's empowering for women. I've just remembered what, what? I called it. Go on. When I reviewed it, I called it Four Dogs. Nice. That was it. That was one of my best I puns see what of the you year. Did there. Thank yeah, you. Very, very good. Now, my top movie of the year, Go which on. the five star. I hope you agree with me on this, man. Okay. But I, I did give this five star, and I still stand by it because I loved it so much. It might have been a bit of a victim of the hype machine, but Joker for me. Oh, don't. I think. Joaquin, uh, Joaquin Phoenix's performance in this is going to be the one to beat in award season. Okay. His trans... Really? I don't know. I mean, the bookies at the moment are running bets on uh, Christian Bale for the mom. Really? Yeah. I think that's a supporting role. Well, I would argue that Matt Damon's the supporting. But never mind. Back okay. to Joaquin. Back right. to Joaquin. No, Joaquin Phoenix, okay. the transformation is that it's things that the Academy loves, you know. Um, it, it turns the comic book genre again on its head. It doesn't give you what you expect to see. So that's why I think there might be a little bit of a divide mm. over this. Um, for me, who's not necessarily a comic book fan, it immersed me in a world that I could, I could really enjoy. And also, it gave me that descent into madness, that character study that made me think, goodness, this could actually happen to someone. I, I say, I did, I liked it. I thought the hype was a little overblown. I, I did think the film wasn't as good as the performance. I chucked someone out of their cinema seat because they were in my seat and I was like, do you know what? I want, I want the best seat to watch this in. <laughs> do not screw with Rebecca Perfect. No, the cinema absolutely people. don't. <laughs> For me. Right. I'm going the opposite end of the spectrum with, but I'm not going with the best film. I'm going with my favourite okay. film of the year, uh, just my visceral popcorn munching favourite of the year. It's Hobson Shaw. I'm sorry, it is. Wow. I mean, you think you know a guy? I know. Yeah. Uh, it's Hobson Shaw. It's Dwayne Johnson. It's Jason Statham. It is a movie so ridiculous they had to literally give Idris Elba superpowers, and the extent of those superpowers is he's as strong as the Rock. I love this. I love your sentiment around it. When I say I love this, I mean, I enjoyed the film. Yeah. Um, but, wow, it's your favourite film of the year. I mean, it was fun. And you know what? It's a great movie to go with your mates and watch and have a real laugh with. And I think as a, a full-on group mm. experience, this is great. I actually thought you were going to say Knives Out. Really? Yeah. I, it, 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 it's in my top 22. Yeah. <laughs> but, of course, uh, Hobbs and Shaw is not the end of the Fast and Furious series. And this it's is where only we, the beginning. This is where we're going to we're gonna have to move on for our last minute of the year. Um, so let's have a talk about what's out you know, next year because yeah. Fast and Furious 9 is next year. Gosh. We're getting a trailer for that at the end of January. I yeah. think it's May we're getting that yeah. as well. I mean, I'm really excited about a few things. Um, it's like nostalgia for me. So we've got mm. Top Gun Maverick coming out. Yes. That trailer, the new trailer that's come out, looks oh, in. So Incredible. I want to see that on the biggest screen possible. Mm -hmm. Bill and Ted are back. Bill and Ted face the music. Yes. Yeah, that's a summer one, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, they've just released a few shots of mm -hmm. um, Keanu Reeves and Alex Winters in um, in character for that. I cannot wait to see that. Um, and I'm actually starting off January. I'm really excited about 1917. Have you not caught 1917? No, no, I haven't caught that yet. Okay. Yeah, so it's all the thing about that is a Sam Mendes film. Mm. It's all it's set in World War One, and it's all done in one shot, or to give you the impression that it's all done in yeah. one shot. I personally, I'm I'm looking forward to Scoob, the an nice. new animated Scooby Doo reboot. I'm really looking forward to Bad Boys for Life, yes. the long away to Bad Boys Three. Again, nostalgia. They're re yeah. bringing him back again. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of a few other things. Black Widow has a lot of potential. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with that. Uh, less Birds of Prey, but definitely Wonder Woman 1984. That's yeah. got badass yeah. written all over it. Uh -huh. So much awesome to come. It's yeah. one of those where you look at the list and you just keep forgetting things. Like, oh my god, there's that to come. I know, that to come. and that's where it's no. really hard to condense it down, isn't it? One last one I'll check okay. in. Ryan Reynolds in Free Guy. Yes, the trailer for that looks yes. hilarious. Basically, yeah. he's a, a pass, he's a bystander in a Grand Theft Auto game. Can that guy do any wrong? I think not. Well, oh, Green Lantern. Well. But, uh, <laughs> Green Lantern, his first attempt at Deadpool. But, <laughs> but you know what? It's been a great year of movies, hasn't yeah. it, Van? Yeah, it has. And I've enjoyed doing this with yes, you this year. It's screen. been lovely. It's been great. And it's been nice to kind of, you know, find our feet and become the duo that we have become on this. <laughs> I think it's been really fun. So I'm going to wish you and everyone at home a very merry Christmas we've become I like to think we've become the Mulder and Scully we have right? indeed good analogy I like but it in the meanwhile we're going to have to kick it off until the 10th of January I think wow says it's a little oh. bit of a Christmas break we're not used to that but we're oh, excited to put our feet up watch some great movies and we hope you guys do too so signing off for this side of 2019 into 2020 I'm Bex Perfect and I've been Van Connor and this has been Off Screen your seven day guide to everything movies boom, boom.